Heat Team is a service division of Baxi Group. We provide after-sales service for Baxi, Potterton and main boilers. This video will help to show you how to repressurize your Baxi, Potterton or main combination or system boiler. It is important that you switch off the power supply before repressurizing your boiler. Please watch this whole tutorial before attempting to repressurize your boiler. Do not work step by step. How to repressurize a combination or system boiler using a flexible hose filling loop. Looking at the boiler from underneath, you will see two taps at the end of copper pipes with end caps at each end. Step 1. Unscrew both end caps. You may need to use a spanner if they are too tight to work by hand. Make sure that the right hand tap is fully closed, clockwise, before removing the end caps. Your installer should have left a metal braided hose with you for safekeeping. This is a filling loop that you will use to repressurize the boiler. Step 2. Connecting the filling loop. Screw both ends of the hose into the two taps, making sure both wing nuts are hand tight. Step 3. Open the first tap fully. On the front of your boiler should be a pull down panel. Pull this down and you will see the pressure gauge. Slowly open the second tap and you will hear the sound of water begin to run and the pressure gauge will start to rise. The gauge shown indicates a typical boiler pressure gauge. Other boiler models may vary. When one bar of pressure is reached, close the tap fully. Then also fully close the first tap. A pressure reading of 1 to 1.5 bar is optimum. If your boiler pressure exceeds 2.5 bar, please contact your installer or service engineer as soon as possible. Step 4. Make sure both taps are closed, then unscrew the left hand wing nut of the hose. You may want to place a bowl under the boiler as the hose will leak a small amount of water. Unscrew the other end of the hose and remove the filling loop. Step 5. Replace both end caps to the taps. Please only follow these instructions if you feel confident in doing so. Should you experience any problems in repressurizing your boiler, it is important that you contact your installer or service engineer as soon as possible.